So electrons, as we know, they travel around the outside of an atom, um, but they actually they actually exist in uh, really in energy levels. But we can think of them existing in what's called electron shells. So there are a series of energy levels or electron shells surrounding the nucleus of an atom, uh, and that's where basically electrons are found. So uh, this diagram over here, here, so here's the nucleus of an atom. So this is where the protons and neutrons live. And this is the first shell. This is the first energy level really of, a, uh, of this atom. Um, this is actually an atom of sodium. Um, and the first shell of all atoms, but also of sodium, can only hold a maximum of two electrons. So if an atom has three electrons, two will go in the first shell, but the next one will have to go into this second shell, this second energy level. Now the second uh, electron shell can hold a maximum of eight electrons, um, and the third shell can hold a maximum of 18 electrons. So like I said, this is, uh, this is an atom of sodium. It's got 11 electrons altogether. And electrons fill the shells or the energy levels closest to the nucleus first. So it's got 11 electrons. The first one will go in the first shell and then the second one will go in the first shell too. But then the first shell is full. So it's got two electrons in its first shell and that's all it can hold. So the next electron that will go into the second shell and they'll be because it's got 11. So one, two in the first shell and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eight in the second shell. It's full, the second shell can only hold eight electrons. So then the 11th electron of sodium will go into this third um, outer shell here. So electrons do exist in shells of atoms um, and each shell can only hold a certain number of electrons. Uh, I've actually got a uh, atom of plutonium here. So it's a similar thing, far more electrons, but again, it's two in the first shell. Uh, the second shell can only hold eight. The third shell can only hold 18. The fourth shell can actually only hold 32, um, and then it goes on from there. But really, we've, we've got to think about electrons existing in electron shells, or these energy levels, uh, and each shell can only hold a maximum of a certain number of electrons. So that is two in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and in fact, 18 in the third shell. The other inter interesting thing about these shells is that um, when atoms do have uh, full outer shells, they are actually uh, far more stable. So an atom which has got only two electrons and therefore a full uh, first shell it is really quite stable. And also an atom which has got a full first shell with two electrons and a full second shell with eight electrons, so 10 in total, that will also, have a, that will also be a stable atom because it's got its uh, full outer shells. Uh, so that's about electrons and uh, the fact that they travel in these outer shells.